it's Joe. welcome back. So today's project I'll be using the 8 inch guide ring from the stencils 360 as well as the 6 inch paper guide and then the stencil is the water spout stencils. The stamp set I'm using is the penguin agenda along with the coordinating penguin perfect cuts and then the dots meet dashes large rectangles die as well as the warmest wishes and heartfelt notes coordinating dies and then lastly the newest release you are my inspiration shadow dies so those are all the products that I'll be using from Penguin Palace so let's get started with a little bit of coloring so here is the penguin holding the scissors and some craft paper and then I'm just using just a couple Copic markers, the red is R22 and R24, the uh, beak and the feet were YR04, the uh, black part of the penguin is C3, C5, and then the white part of the penguin is B0000, and the cheeks are R81. So here I have my stencils 360 already taped down to my workspace, which I keep taped down um, under my working mat. I inserted the 6-inch paper guide, and I laid down my 6x6 cardstock, took that gui uh, paper guide out, and then inserted the 8-inch guide ring, and I went ahead and started to just use the stencil water spout stencil so at first i was going to follow along the uh, symbols on the outer ring and then i just decided to just um wing it i had an idea in my head to do some kind of rainbow circle ring so that's what i went for and i'm using these finger daubers for the ink application i find that for more small uh, detailed uh, stencils. I like the smaller applicator instead. I get a more precise um, application. And here um, I'm just going around in a circle and I'm glad that I can see through the stencil so I can see where I'm applying the ink. Uh, the first outer color is Fired Brick in Distress Ink. I find that that Distress Ink is a lot more darker and uh, richer compared to the oxide ink for that particular color. The second color, the orange, is spiced marmalade in distress ink. And then here, the yellow is a distress oxide ink, and that one is mustard seed. Then I go ahead and apply the green. I use a post it note to cover the other stencil uh, cutouts because it's a little bit tricky for me because. Uh, the stencil portion is uh, the shape is smaller and I just didn't really want to uh, apply it to the other part of the stencil so uh, the green is distress oxide in mode lawn and then the next color I went for peacock feathers and this is a distress ink and then here you can see instead of just doing one row of the dotted circles I went ahead and just applied it to two of the lines and then lastly I used wilted violet in distress oxide ink and here I was just winging it and then I just did not like the empty spaces so I go ahead and just um, go back and do the same color combination the same order and I filled up that whole paper so um, yeah, you could follow the symbol guides or you could just wing it and it turns out perfectly fine. So anyways, so let's put the card together. That's my base A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. And you can see I cut out the stencil portion, um, not centered, but off to the right. I cut it with the dots meet dashes uh, die and I used the larger die of the rectangles and then I cut the you are my inspiration in black cardstock and there is the heart die uh, I cut also it 
I cut the die with a red cardstock and then I also used the die to make out my heart window for the shaker. So I go ahead and start putting this card together. First I apply the red heart into that window making sure that the uh, stenciled uh, portion is nice and uh, even with the card base. Then I go ahead and use liquid glue to apply the You Are My Inspiration shadow dies. So I just add some glue to the mostly to the left portion of the letters and then I go ahead and place that down. Next I just take some scrap leftover acetate sheets that I have sitting around on my desk and I just go ahead and cover up that window. It had some glue on it so I just got my microfiber cloth and cleaned that up making sure that the window is nice and clear. And then um, as far as adhesive, I used um, an adhesive tape to adhere the acetate sheet to the back of the heart there and then I just cut off the excess. So then next I go ahead and take some foam adhesive tape. This tape um, is just leftover tape that I have. It measures, I think, half an inch, and then the profile, the, the thickness is a one eighth of an inch. So I go ahead and cover generously the back of the card, and then I ran out, but I still had a similar foam tape, and I take it so I can close off that window closing off all the gaps so that when I um, seal off the card with the sequence, it, none of it will be falling out when the recipient shakes the card. So again, here is my sequin of choice. It's some um, red metallic hearts. I just put a generous amount in the center, avoiding the edges, and then I go ahead and peel off the adhesive backing for that uh, top portion of the card there and then I make sure that my card is um, nice and straight making sure that the heart is lined up with that window and then I give it a nice uh, press so that it's nice and sealed and I'm here I'm just shaking it generously um, just to make sure nothing is falling out so there is my cute little penguin um, a little bit of that uh, word dye was not adhered to the card, so I just added more glue. And then there's that penguin. I put some liquid adhesive, and I have him sitting atop the N. So I thought that was really cute. He's holding scissors and some craft paper going with that whole craft theme there. So that is my card for you guys today using the newest release, the Stencils 360 and the newest shadow dies. So thank you for watching.